About 50% of people over the age of 50 will have type 2 diabetes in Aboriginal communities. This is enormously problematic. These are levels much greater than we see in other communities across the country. We also know that there's a whole raft of social and emotional factors playing out in the lives of Aboriginal people in the state as well. And this paints a picture of a really complicated interconnection of social disadvantage and high burden of disease. And we really need better systems of care that understand those needs and can respond. My name's Alex Brown. I'm Professor of Medicine and Aboriginal Health and I lead the Aboriginal Health Research components of the Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences. Our research involves really targeting the leading causes of health and mortality inequalities experienced by Aboriginal Australians. This is the story of heart disease, diabetes and cancer. Our work focuses on not just the risk that Aboriginal people may have and how it may account for higher rates of disease, but also trying to understand what drives the inequalities we see in outcomes, how the healthcare system does or doesn't do its job, and interventions that will make a difference over the long term. How do we build better ways of caring for people with need? Over the last seven years, we've been able to undertake very comprehensive health assessments on all participants at this stage almost 1,400 Aboriginal people right across the state. That information is provided directly to the healthcare provider who's able to utilise that to develop healthcare plans for those individuals. We've provided direct training to health service providers. We've directly informed policy in the state and for the nation more broadly on the back of the findings we've been able to identify through this project. The thing that really drives us on is the fact that we're dealing with a population that has such profoundly poor outcomes what drives me every day is the unfairness that we see in front of us with the experience of health and well-being for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Our job's not done. And no matter how many successes we have that are small, none of them really amount to the impact that we really want to have, which is making sure that the next generation and the generation after that of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander kids have a fair go in Australian society. That's our fundamental objective, and we won't really stop until we've had a better go at that. Thank you.